Hi everyone, Franco from Your Guitar Academy. In this course, we're going to learn how to play bar chords properly. Um, now, if you've seen bar chords before and you don't know if you're doing it really well or if it's still a bit blurry, if you don't really understand what's going on when you're playing a bar chord, that's for you. If it's completely new, don't worry, we're going to start from scratch. So in this first lesson, we're going to look at what a bar chord is. We're going to try to understand what's going on. So pick up your guitar, let's get started. Hey guys, I'm just letting you know that we're giving you every single video from this challenge course absolutely free right here on YouTube. So take your time, work your way through it and enjoy it. Now, if the time does feel right and you are ready to upgrade to a guitar club membership, then all the links will be in the descriptions below. Remember that with that upgrade, you'll get access to the full write-up, the backing tracks, the interactive tab for this particular course, and you get access to all of our courses, every player study, challenge course like this one, and everything else. On top of that, you also get progress tracking, access to all of our mentors, our community, and so much more. Check it out in the description below. The concept of a bar chord is actually very simple. Um, we take chords that we know already, such as E major, A minor, and a bunch of different open chords, so chords that use open strings. We take these shapes, and we just transpose them somewhere else. But instead of using what we would usually need, which is a capo on the fret above to block these open strings, well, we're going to use our index finger. So the way to think about it is your index finger is barring all the strings. And that is tough at first. Little bit of a backstory. The first bar chord I had to learn I remember that day precisely. I think I was like 17 and I thought, that's it. I've got to give up on playing guitar. It's too hard. Turns out I was just not doing it properly. So let's have a look at this. Let's try something. Let's try to just bar with the index finger on any fret. So I'm playing fret number five right now. And let's try to get all the strings to ring up. Sorry, my volume is off. It's not helping. Right, so that's what we want. Now, there's a couple of things to understand to get that clean bar. First of all, you've got to know where you're aiming. If you're aiming, let me show you that, too low on the fret, as in too much on your left, that's not going to work that well. We want the strings to lock onto the actual metal fret. So you want to be at the bottom of your fret. So this is still fret 5. This would be fret 5, but you see how... I'm aiming for the bottom of the fret here. Now, the other thing is doing this at first, so just barring with the index finger, you may notice some of the strings when you do that choke a little bit and you get something like. Right. So to fix that issue, a trick that I do all the time when I'm playing bar chords is that I'm not using the bottom of my finger, like the, the meat. I'm using the side of it, the, the bone part of my finger. So what I'll do is I'll have the index flat and then I'll rotate it a little bit towards the left here. So if you see here, my bar is there and I'm just going to rotate it and it's just a little bit, right? Not a lot, but it's enough for me to use the side of my finger, which is a lot stronger. And that allows me to just get a good grip on those frets. Let me do that again. So again, now you can't even see that metal fret because I'm basically right above it and I'm rotating my index finger on the side. And now I get something fairly clean. I know that's already hard work and you should spend time on it. But as I said before, I almost gave up on it and understanding these little tricks helped me so much. I almost gave up on playing guitar. I'm glad that didn't. Um, but take your time with that. And that's going to be your first challenge, literally just to play random frets wherever you want and just try and fret just the whole fret, all the strings, and to get a clean sound out of all these strings. So you want to strum them slowly. You don't want to do, because you can't really tell what's going on. So strum it string per string. 
right? Mm -hmm. So it's not a code, I mean, not really a code we would use, but in the future, barcodes will allow you to play literally any major or minor codes you'll come across. So they are extremely useful. And when you know how to use them, um, you'll see that actually it makes playing guitar a lot easier because transitions get easier. I don't want to spoil it, but we'll get there later on. Now, another big misconception about bar chords is we all think at first that we've got to press extremely hard with the left hand, with the index finger, and we have to sort of squeeze the index finger with the thumb extremely hard to block all those strings down. Now, let's be honest, um, I'm not the strongest man on earth, unfortunately, um, but I can play bar chords. So it's not about strength. And it's really something I want you to understand on that first lesson. Bar chords aren't about strength, it's about precision. If you're on the right spot, you'll see that you can relax your hand a lot more and you don't have to press that hard. It will still work. So you do have to experiment with that on this first challenge. Yes, the concept is simple. You're just barring any fret anywhere, but try to relax a bit. So yes, the, the concept is simple on that first challenge. It's literally just to play any fret and to bar it with the index finger. But it's not that easy because I do want you to be mindful of how hard you're pressing on the strings and how hard you're sque squeezing the neck. So let's give it a try. I'll show you something. If I'm pressing here, my thumb is on the back of the fretboard and I'm, I've got my index flat. I'm using the side of it. I'm right above the fret. Right. I could do that for quite a long time. And just to show you how not um, pressing hard, um, if I get rid of my thumb, you can see it now here. I'm not using it. I still have a pretty decent bar. I wouldn't be playing bar chords that way, but it's just to show you that by just pulling the guitar towards me a little bit, so my, my, my elbow is pulling a little bit, and by pushing with the right arm here, that's enough to just bar. If I don't do it on the right spot, so too low on the fret and the fingers too flat, that wouldn't work. And I'm not cheating, I'm really trying. And I'm pressing a lot harder, so I'm still not using my thumb. And that's usually what happens when we overcompensate and press too hard with the thumb. Um, another thing is, frets are these little bumps on the, on the fretboard. Pressing too hard is just a bad habit because when you press really hard on a string, it bends that string between these two frets that are surrounding that, that wooden fret. So by bending it, you're going to sound a little bit sharp and it's, not, it's just not great. And also you're going to get extremely tired extremely quickly. So take your time and it's all about, again, finding the right spot. Now, I mentioned my elbow is pulling and that's basically the, the game here. It's like finding the right balance of where that pull and that push are coming from. So what I do is I push a little bit with my thumb and my index finger is just stopping the guitar from flying away. So that's what I do. Um, another thing I want you to notice, I'm going to turn around just so you can see that. But here, I'm facing that camera here. Look at that angle I've got here. You see, I'm going to do that here just in case. So I'm facing that camera. Look at all that space I've got on my left here, all that space. I'm not doing this. And we're going to talk about that on the next lesson. But be careful with your posture. That's extremely important. You can see that on, on that camera here. So that's my natural position to play bar chords. That's wrong, right? So we're going to talk about that again. But be careful. Make sure you're using that space and you're in control of what's going on and you understand that, okay, I don't have to squeeze everything so hard. So carry on with this first challenge. Make sure all the strings are ringing up properly and make sure you're not getting extremely tired. Though, when you start learning bar chords, how to say that, don't feel bad for having breaks. Have long breaks and short practice sessions. That's the way you're gonna build that natural precision. You don't wanna spend an hour playing bar chords. It doesn't make any sense. So take your time and I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye. Massive thank you from me and the rest of our wonderful tutors for watching this video. If you do want to check out another video, another playlist, you can click right over here. Otherwise, if it feels like the right time for you and you're ready to give it a go, 
Our Guitar Club link is right up here. You can get a 14-day free trial and you'll get access to our complete courses, our amazing community, and everything you need to properly upgrade and start loving the process of learning the guitar. I'll see you later.